I wish every single guy that I hired um, would work out for us. I wish that they would just come to work, do what they're supposed to, um, and not call in and leave everybody in, in a pinch. But you know what? Whenever it happens, that's just part of the game, and it's part of the challenge of being a business owner. It's a challenge that I'm willing to deal with, all right? Because again, I really enjoy working on a team. What's up, guys? Uh, I had done a video or two recently about how to hire your, your first guy. Um, it was like a part one, part two, and you guys are asking for a part three. I'm like, hey, how do you actually like set them up with, with payroll? Like, how does, how does that even work? So I'm going to cover that uh, in this video. I'm going to answer some questions that um, relate to, to hiring somebody. Should you hire one person, two person? Like, what if I, what if I take on more work than, than I can handle by myself by hiring a couple guys and then they leave? Like, Let's talk about that in this video. So if you're thinking about hiring somebody for your lawn care business, um, this video is gonna provide some insight on like, hey, I'm going from a solo operator to, to hiring some help to maybe one or two guys. What does that process look like? How do I do it? How do I get it set up? We're gonna talk about it. So what I would recommend you doing is paying a payroll service to handle processing payroll for you. In the past, I have used ADP, okay? Now ADP, I just wanna give you some pricing um, compared to, to what I did then compared to what I'm doing now, and I think you'll see there's, there's a drastic difference. We are running basic payroll, okay? Like direct deposit for our employees, and ADP was, their baseline was like 70 something dollars per payroll run, plus an additional amount, it was a small amount per employee. So it may be like $75 base per payroll run, plus an extra five or $10 per employee every time you process payroll. We process payroll every single week. So for us, like our monthly cost just to process payroll was like 300 bucks with ADP. And I could have switched that back to um, every two weeks. But look, like if I was an employee, dude, like I want my cash coming in. Like I wanna be paid weekly. I don't want my money to be held hostage um, for, 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 for two weeks. And that was just something as an owner, I was like, I'm going to absorb that extra cost because that was that would be important to me if I was employee. I, I always hated getting paid every two weeks. Um, and, I, and I know why organizations do it because uh, it cuts their bill down. But uh, man, it kind of sucks, right? So ADP, uh, it was kind of expensive, man. It was about $300 a month um, just, just to process the payroll. And I'm like, I just felt like that was a little steep. So then I started looking around and seeing what other options were out there. And after researching other companies, I, I found um, Gusto. In Gusto, I basically said, hey, these are the services that we're using every week um, with ADP. Can you give me an apples to apples comparison of your cost? I need direct deposit, I need it weekly. Like I'm not doing anything like crazy elaborate, you know? And uh, Gusto worked me up a little package, like right there, like you can just walk yourself through it. So for the exact same thing that we were paying ADP, almost $300 a month, um, Gusto was a flat rate. It was just a flat rate per month at $40 plus $6 per employee, okay? I have about four guys on my payroll. So the flat fee of $40 plus $6 um, per person, like guys, it was like, it was like a no brainer. So what you do is you go to Gusto, um, you um, put in your information as to like, hey, this is how many employees I have. Um, this is how often I would like them to be paid. And then Gusto will walk you through like, okay, based on your company's needs, this is the plane that you need and um, this is the price for it. And guys, I shopped all these. I shopped all these prices so you don't have to do this. I'm telling you, Gusto by far and away has the best, best pricing I have had no issues at all processing pay payroll since we switched to them earlier this year. Um, it is a, it's a no brainer. Um, if you're not just using like massive amounts of data that, that ADP in, in their defense is capable of doing, you're, there's no reason to, to, to pay all that extra money. So um, Gusto was a much, much better um, a price point for what we were doing. The thing that I like about it is whenever I hire somebody, all I've got to do is go into Gusto, put in their email address, and then I will send that employee everything that they need to onboard, okay? So the employee is gonna go there, they're gonna put in their information, um, they're going to uh, set up their withholdings and all that, okay? It cuts down on my office work on my end, so every time I hire somebody, I'm not having to sit there and just just put in just a lot of time doing this. Like I can literally send it to them, they can onboard themselves. Um, I will basically set their pay rate and then there's some of the expectations there um, by, by default. And it's super easy guys. Like they put in their bank account information. 
I just put in the hours every single week. Gusto literally takes their taxes out, sends it to the IRS like they're supposed to, and I'm hands off completely. So I would just say, don't try to, to figure out payroll and payroll taxes. Like if you're, if you're just trying to get the ball rolling with employees and stuff, dude, you got enough on your plate as being a, a solo guy, okay? Like there's just, you, you're wearing too many hats. You can't be an ex expert in freaking payroll taxes, all right? But I get it, like you don't wanna spend like a lot of money every single month to outsource that. I have done a lot of research on what I feel like is a great um, payroll processing company for simplicity and for price point. Gusto is the way to go for us. Again, there's a little link down there if you're interested in getting a little bit of a price break and then helping me reduce my monthly cost for payroll as well. But then somebody asked in the Turf Pros Academy, they said, hey, what happens whenever you bring on somebody, you bring on help, you get them set up for payroll and man, y'all are cooking, like you got work coming in and now all of a sudden, instead of you doing 40 lawns a week uh, as, as a solo guy or 50 lawns a week, now you're going to like 80 lawns a week or 90 lawns a week. But then you set yourself up in this kind of precarious situation of what happens if that person quits? What happens if, if that person um, all of a sudden just like uh, doesn't want to come to work anymore? Totally a valid question. I have um, been through that myself and I want to tell you what, what I feel like is, is the best thing to do. Remember this, whenever you're hiring, two is better than one and three is better than two, okay? And what I mean by that is, is if you're gonna bring on somebody and then take on additional work, don't hire one guy, you hire two, okay? It's really that simple, all right? It, it provides backup, all right? It provides a little bit of a buffer so that, hey, if one guy uh, calls in or doesn't work out, you still got somebody else there to push through with this work. I'm telling you, one of the things you're gonna stress out about if you only have one helper is like, what happens if <laughs> he doesn't show up? And the answer is you hide two guys. You don't you don't just hire one. That That's the answer to that. So why did I say three is better than two? I said two is better than one, three is better than two. Here's what I have found, okay? If you get to the point where you can actually take um, a couple employees and then put them out into their own rig, into a truck, there's a mow route for them. What I have found is this, two guys in a truck is the most efficient, okay? It is, um, it, it, you have the, the least amount of downtime. Um, if those guys are guys that come into work consistently, they, they are on their game, um, they don't drag butt during the day, Two guys is extremely efficient. You can pay those guys really, really well, okay? Because they're out there earning their keep. <clears throat> they're not dragging butt. You got good route density. That, in my opinion, is the best way to go. It's, it's two guys in a, on a mowing route. If, if they are efficient, that is the way to go. But here's what I have noticed over the years, all right? You might get two rock stars, okay? But a lot of times you don't. Usually you got one rock star and then just kind of like an average guy, okay? And that's just that's just what I have seen over the years. The way that I feel is the best for you to deal with that is to have three guys in the truck, okay? I have done a video previously on two-man crews versus three-man crews, and I've told you that I really feel like three-man is probably the way to go, and I still believe that, all right? Again, I, I understand that there is a loss in efficiency with three guys in the truck um, compared to two, but what it does is, again, it offers you backup. It offers you a little bit of a buffer, meaning that if two guys in a truck can go out and cut 20 lawns during the day, just because you add the third guy into the truck, it doesn't mean that they're going to go cut 30 lawns during the day. You might get 25 out of that or 26 out of that. Um, there comes a point of diminishing returns, all right? And again, We've sat there and ran the times. I've done this. I've ran the times on two-man crews or three-man crews for our lawn care business, so you don't have to do that. But I can tell you, in general, two man's more efficient, but three, you can cut more lawns, but there comes a point of diminishing returns. But I am okay with that at this point, and the reason being is because by having three guys in the truck, okay, three guys, now if somebody calls in, what do you got, all right? Still got two guys in the truck that can still go out and cut a lot of grass. Issue that we ran into this year is I have two guys in the truck. A lot of times, you know, if I got one of these guys that, that's calling in, it screws up the entire freaking week. It just, it just does. Me as the owner, I'm trying to go out and sell, do estimates. I'm trying to handle landscaping projects, get those on the books. And I trust these two guys to go over here and handle the mowing route, all right? 
But if I got 20 or 25 lawns on the day for a two-man mowing crew and one of them calls out, like, all right, well, that's taking me away from, from what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm having to rearrange our schedule. It screws this guy up because now he, instead of, you know, going out and getting his work done, there's no way he can do 25 lawns during the day. So it just, it creates chaos whenever somebody calls in on a two-man crew. So I'd really encourage you to think about that if you're looking at growing past solo, okay? Think about, okay, I'm not just gonna hire one guy, I'm gonna get to two guys as quickly as I can, and then if I'm gonna put these guys out in a truck, I really need to try to get to three guys, okay? And again, because if you got that third guy in the truck, if somebody does call in, it gives you a little bit of a break there. Guys, in total transparency, dealing with people and managing um, uh, guys, it is the absolute toughest part of, of owning a business. It really is. And I, I totally get why guys <clears throat> remain solo. But I'll tell you this, if you if you have the, the fortitude and the patience to, to deal with it, you really can find some good people, okay? And I, and it really does make a big difference in the amount of work that you can get done during the day. And if you find people that you enjoy working with, there really is something to be said for a team environment. Now, I know I've done a whole slew of videos recently on all the benefits of being solo, but in total transparency, I myself, I do not ever want to go back to being solo strictly because I enjoy working with a team as long as that team is a good team, all right? I like being around other guys um, but again, it, it is very, very difficult sometimes. And um, I'm just hoping that by sharing this information with you, like some of the things that you should expect with hiring somebody like, hey, these are the road bumps that I've been on, um, you know, going from solo to, to just hiring a, a small amount of guys. And it would at least let you know like, hey, these are some of the things that I should expect to look out for. Put out an ad on a contractor's group, go through a lot of people. You're looking for somebody who is energetic, um, who has high moral character and who has common sense. Once you've checked all those boxes, you bring somebody on, you let them ride around with you, make sure that this is something that they wanna do. Whenever they decide, hey, man, you got a pretty good operation here, okay? You are going to pay that person as good as you possibly can. And then you are not only going to pay that one person, you're gonna to try to get another person as quickly as possible, okay? Once you got two guys rocking and rolling in the truck with you, really consider getting a third guy in there because it's going to give you a buffer whenever somebody inevitably calls out and it gives you time to go through that process again and bring on a new, you gotta constantly be building the bench, man. Um, you really do. So you gotta keep these people warm over here on the side because whenever one guy here doesn't work out, the truth is there's somebody over here to take their place and that's just the mindset that you have to have as a business owner. I wish every single guy that I hired um, would work out for us. I wish that they would just come to work and do what they're supposed to. Um, and not call in and leave everybody in, in a pinch. But you know what, whenever it happens, that's just part of the game. And it's part of the challenge of being a business owner. It's a challenge that I'm willing to deal with, all right? Because again, I really enjoy working on a team. So if you want to bring somebody on, man, I'm telling you, I feel like Gusto is the way to go. It is so simple. You cannot do it all. Outsource that to Gusto, man. Um, they will, they, they make it a breeze setting up like people a lot smarter than me and you have already figured this stuff out, man. Let them handle this for you, okay? It's very cheap um, and it's very, very easy um, to execute every single week with payroll. Y'all right, be good. Y'all take care.